We all struggle with the odontoid view, but let me show you a secret. The first thing is to make sure your patient, the bottom of his upper teeth, are going to be parallel with the floor. So in this case, we're going to need to raise up the chin just slightly so it's parallel. And the reason for this is your engineer should have installed the x-ray tube where it's completely level and parallel with the floor. This in return will make your CR center ray parallel with the floor as well. So with knowing that your x-ray tube is level, meaning your center ray will be level with the floor if you were to use a bubble level tool as Im imaged here from the side, and your bottom of your upper incisors is level with everything, this is exactly what you need to have from the side to shoot a perfect odontoid every time. I've been doing it this way for 22 years. And what you're going to do is draw a line from the EAM to the bottom of the nose, right at the acanthian. This new line will be perpendicular to your IR. Picture it from the side as being completely level with the floor, and you'll get it every time. Now you can tell you have a good image when you don't see the teeth or the base of the skull covering the tip of the dens. So in this image on the right, you can see the skull is covering the tip of the dens. So when you see skull, remember chin down. You need to repeat the position by lowering the patient's chin. The next image, you can clearly see the teeth are covering the odontoid. So in this case, you need to raise the chin up. So remember, teeth, chin up. I feel most of the repeats are because we raised the chin too high when shooting odontoids, and Google verifies this. It's really hard to find odontoid images with teeth covering the odontoid. Memorize this. If you see teeth, chin up. If you see skull, chin down. If you miss the tip, you can always do a Waters or a Fuchs. But what is the magic number? What is the magic angle? If you're shooting a Waters and your MML is perpendicular to the IR, There'll be a 37 degree angle on the atlas. It's the tabletop to OML angle formed when the head is extended 53 degrees. So 37 is your magic number. So in a trauma situation, when the patient has their head extended 53 degrees where the MML is perpendicular to the IR, you're gonna reverse this image here where it says the 37 and you'll see the magic angle is 37. That's what you want to angle every time in a trauma situation. Not 53, you angle 37 degrees, centered under the chin, and you'll get it every time. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let us know. Remember, always advance, never repeat.